Hey there, Louis Acabalos here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a form template in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a form template and specifically, I am going to show you how to create a form template called Create NDA Contract. Now, this template is going to set values for four fields, and those fields include the contract model, contract administrator, the approver, and the options field. Now, you can also follow the steps that I outline in this tutorial to create any kind of form template in ServiceNow. And I'm going to show you how to create form templates in two different ways, from an existing record and starting from scratch. Let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now there are multiple ways that you can create form templates in ServiceNow. We'll start off by looking at how you can create a form template by saving an existing record that you've submitted or that another user has created in the system as a template. Now you can see I've populated some of the fields that we would like to be pre-populated on this form template. And really form templates are intended to help streamline data entry. So in this case, every time someone wants to create an NDA contract record, they can use this template and have certain fields pre-populated. Now I will go ahead and submit this record. Now, in order to create a form template using an existing record that has been created in the system, you want to navigate to that record and then you want to click on the more options button and you want to toggle the template bar on. To do that, just click on this text and that is going to add this template bar at the bottom of the window. Now, if you want to create a new template, you can either just click on the hyperlink here or you can click on the plus sign, and that is going to bring up the create new template form. Now, because we initiated this new template from this contract record, you're going to notice that it automatically populated the table for us, and it is pointing to the contract table because that is where the record that we initiated this process is stored on. Now, you wanna start off by giving your template a name, I will call this template create NDA contract. Now, in this case, we don't need to change our table because we've created the template from an existing record. If you want this template to be active, meaning users can actually select it, then you wanna check this active button. And then the next thing that you want to do is determine which users in your ServiceNow instance should be able to access this form template. Now you'll notice that there are three fields on the right hand side here, user, groups, and global. Now, if you want to restrict this form template to only certain users, then you want to go ahead and select those users in this user field. Now you can see here as I hover my cursor over the text user, it displays this tool tip that states the person who can apply this template. So again, whoever you select in this field, it means only that user is going to be able to access and use this form template. Now, if you want to make this template accessible to groups, then you can just click on the unlock groups button and you can go ahead and select the groups that again, you would like to have access to this record. Or if you want to just make this template accessible to all users in your instance, then you can go ahead and check this box here. Next, you want to scroll down and this is where you can pre-populate fields that exist on the record you're creating this template for with certain values. Now, again, because I initiated this process from a record that I already created and had populated fields, you can see that ServiceNow is actually bringing those field values that were on my record into this template. So you can see here that the approver was set to Bud Rickman and that was something that I had filled out. You can see that the contract administrator was set to Carla Ken. You can see here that the contract model is set to NDA and you can see all these other fields that had values populated. Now, if you want to change any of these values, then you can go ahead and just again, select 
your field here. So if I scroll down, if I wanna perhaps add another field and pre-populate that. So if I go ahead and select business owner and I wanna set this to Beth Anglin, for example, I can just search for that user. And again, when I actually save this template, it is automatically going to populate that business owner field with the value that I'm selecting here to help streamline data entry. Now, once you've set all of your fields, you wanna go ahead and click submit. And you can see here now in the template bar that this create NDA contract template that we just created is visible here. And you'll also notice that it is a hyperlink. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new contract record and I am going to click on the create NDA contract form template that we just created. And you can see here this confirmation message at the top of the screen that says create NDA contract template applied. And you can see here that all of these fields that were included in our template and that had values assigned to them have populated on this record here. And again, you can see that this is still a new record. I've not actually submitted this. It has not been saved on the contract table as of yet, but it populated all of those fields. And again, this will help streamline data entry. Now I can still change these fields if I need to. So if I wanna go ahead and create this new record and select a different vendor, for example, I can do that. If I wanna scroll down and change the options field or the terms and conditions or any of the financials, I can easily do that as well. So that is how you can create a form template record in ServiceNow from an existing record that has already been created and that has had fields on it populated with values. All right, now you can also create form template by typing template in the filter navigator. And if you scroll down, You want to go ahead and click on templates under the system definition menu group. Now this is where you can access all of the different form templates that exist in ServiceNow. Now if I search for create NDA, you can see here I can access the form template record that I just created in this tutorial and I can modify that if I need to. Now I will go ahead and click on the new button and you are going to see that this is the exact same template that we just filled out in the previous steps in this tutorial. The only difference is we are not seeing the fields in the bottom section of this form and that is because we have not selected our table yet. So you can create a form template by taking an existing record that has been created and using that as your starting point or you can come to the system definition templates and you can create a new template from here. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how to create a new form template record in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.